welcome back to my channel. I'm just driving now to the mall to go get a jacket to match the pants that I have. So I can wear that to the wedding that I'm gonna go to this week. Don't really feel like going to the mall, but I'd rather go now than worry about it later in the week. And it is freezing here. I mean, this would be like fall weather in New York where everyone would be loving it. But I am cold and I actually, I'm gonna turn the heat up. I also put all of my long sleeve shirts in storage because when I was packing to like stage the house, I totally forgot that it gets this cold here. So all I have are three hoodies. But that's fine, because I don't like go anywhere anyway where I would like need anything fancier than a hoodie. Or I could just go back to the storage unit. But I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, I just parked. And now I'm gonna go in and try and get a jacket to match my suit pants and then i'll be back in a little bit okay this was a fail they still had the dress pants that i have but there was no real suit that goes with it so i could have bought another suit but i didn't think that that made sense to do I could have gone to H&M and bought a brand new suit from them, which would have the complete jacket and pants. But what's wrong with the, the, the suit that I already have? Yes, I've worn it a few times, but I don't make a million dollars where I dress fancy all the time and I always need new suits. I don't really have, I have another wedding next year to go to. So I could just get another suit next year and just use this one again. Or use this one again next year. Does it really matter? The only time I ever wear a suit is when I go to a wedding. If I'm just going to meet a client, I'll wear my nice dress pants and a dress shirt. And I think that it's a no-no to mix the dress pants with a different jacket. So I'm going to have to give a gift too. So I'm like, I'm going to give a gift for two people. Does it really make sense to go buy a brand new suit when I have one that works perfectly? No. I wish I didn't even have to think about this right now, to be honest. I really just came to the mall for absolutely nothing. Oh. I have no idea where I'm going. I only live like 13 minutes away from the mall, but that's at least what the map says, so that's not bad. For a second I thought I was going the wrong way because it said like north and I'm like no the mall is south of me and I'm like wait a minute I'm leaving the mall I want to go north so yeah I go north one exit and I'm home it wouldn't be any easier again I don't even want to go home I'm just like procrastinating I want to go to like Barnes and Noble or I don't know, but I don't really want to go anywhere at the same time. I just want to like be warm and get back in bed. It's such a cloudy day outside. The whole sky is like one big cloud.
back home. I'll check in with you later on. Thanks for keeping me company. I'm back again. I actually went in, didn't really do anything and decided I need to go get something to eat. Because I just don't feel great. Like I feel fine now, but I don't feel amazing. Like I don't have energy and like lust for life. And it's 3.30 and I've not had anything to eat. That's terrible. So I'm just gonna run to the supermarket and get frozen things to heat up because that's better than having nothing and once i get my weight and health to a better spot then i can get back in the groove of meal prepping because a couple years ago i would meal prep every single week i would cook vegetables and rice and beans and potatoes and have enough to eat lunch for four to five days and I let all of that go. But I don't have the energy now to go and do that. And my mom offered to have meals sent to the house, which is very kind, but I know I won't eat them. They'll just stack up and it will be a waste of money. And I don't wanna waste money. So if I could go get like frozen, things from the supermarket it's better than nothing and it really is such a gloomy day and i know i have no right to complain because i'm in florida but it's freezing and i texted my mom and i said i'm freezing and she's like they have the heat on and she's in florida too so you can tell this is not comfortable but it's okay I did some walking outside too before, and it was, it's nice. It's not unbearable. Yeah, like my body feels hot, even though I'm cold. I don't know what that means. It's not a fever. But I really could just not eat anything today. Like it's already 3.30, so I could say to myself, mm, let me relax or play a video game or start working. And then in a couple hours, I'll eat something. But in a few hours, I'll have a cup of tea and that will, that will fill me up. And then I'm like, eh, it's too late now to eat anything. And the whole day I didn't have anything. But then at night I may binge and just go downstairs and get a whole bunch of snacks. And that's not healthy. Oh, and I also cannot find my suit. I thought maybe I packed it and it's in storage, but I found the pants and I don't know where the jacket is. So I have to look through my dresser and see if it's in there. Otherwise I will have to go and look through the storage boxes, which I don't want to do. But it's okay. I'm complaining just to complain. Okay, just got here and timing is perfect because the battery is gonna die on my camera. So I'm gonna go in, get some frozen things and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So I got two breakfast bowls, which have fake egg in it, some vegan fake chicken strips, zucchini, and then ice cream bars, all dairy free. So it's not a whole lot of food, but it's enough to just get me started for the next two days which is really just what I need. I need to just get in the routine of eating. To me, it's like, I don't know how people are on the other side where they need to lose
lose weight because to gain weight, you have to eat. I don't have the effort to go cook or eat junk food. So it would take more effort for me to become overweight than for me to just keep losing weight because I just don't do anything. I also have to go get my hair cut this week. I don't remember if I talked about that today or not. There's just no shape to my hair. I've just been letting it grow, but I have a wedding to go to on Friday and I want it to look nice. So I don't know where I'm gonna go. I haven't decided that. There is a barber that I've gone to once or twice and I don't know if I want to go to a barber or to a salon. I think the woman did a really good job on my hair. Well, actually, okay, so I went there twice. The first time I went, this woman did perfect haircut. It was just like the littlest amount she could have taken off. Then I tried to call back and make an appointment with her, but she no longer worked there. So I just got a haircut from this other woman who was really nice. I liked her, but my hair was just at my eyebrow length and she cut it to be like above my eyebrows. And I was so mad because it's like months of growing it out just down the drain. So I've been afraid to go get another haircut because I think they're just gonna chop it all off. So I don't know if I should go to a salon where maybe they're, I don't know. When I think barber, I think buzz cuts and like, men's short fades and stuff. I don't think like longer hair trying to give it volume. I don't want layers though. So I don't really know what options there are. But I know I can't go to the wedding looking how it is now. It's just like boring. And I think I am going to taper it in the back because right now the back is really long and I don't know, taper it in. Okay, I'm home again. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so, you know, the other day when I hit my mirror on the wall, I actually did damage to the mirror, but that is the absolute last. Oh, you guys could go. It's the absolute last thing that I need to worry about now. It's just like this little piece of plastic chipped off. I can super glue it. I just don't have the money now to like waste on fixing a mirror, replacing the whole mirror. Like it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I, st I also have a dent in the back of my car from a few years ago and I never made my life easier. We just kept scaling up our life, more bills, more expenses, mortgage. So it never came the time where I was like, okay, I have the, the $300, $400 to just spend on my car. We never even went on vacations. We went on one trip to Mexico and then one trip, one trip, one trip as a Mediterranean cruise. And that was like three years ago. So I just want this house to be sold. Even if I walk away with nothing, I just don't want to have the overhead of a mortgage anymore. It's not worth it to me. And so I was looking for my suit because I, I just know like this week is going to be so stressful that I might as well just look now. And I really should work tonight too. I'm feeling a little bit of overwhelm right now. 
And so I found the dress pants, but not the jacket. I don't even know what size jacket it is if I was to buy another one. And I don't really want to buy another one. For what purpose? Who cares what I look like at the wedding? So I'm driving right now to go to the storage unit to check inside my boxes to see if maybe I packed it. And I may want to take a couple of the long sleeve shirts back with me because I was really not thinking when I packed the house that it gets cold here for winter. Oh, well, maybe I'll take you with me into the storage unit because I don't take you anywhere except the car and my bedroom. So do I even know how to get there? No. Am I GPSing it? I should. Let's see. My, the little piece of paper that tells me my code to get in the door doesn't even say the name of the place. You know, because I was sick yesterday and I was just in pain all day, and then today I, I've just been running around a lot, I feel like I just didn't get to have a day of enjoyment. And now tomorrow, I have two people scheduled meetings. I wish the weekend was longer. That's why when I joke and I say I want to run away, I actually really do. I wish I could just like find the perfect boyfriend. And it, I don't mean like perfect, because no one's perfect. I'm obviously not perfect. You can watch 25 vlogs of me showing how imperfect I am. But someone that just loves me and wants to do things with me. Always has my back, and I'll have their back. Like even going to the storage unit right now, if I was still in my last relationship, I would be going by myself. It would like it wasn't a normal for us to do things together. And I want someone that wants to just do things with me travel with me. I love arts and crafts and I don't do any of it. It would be cool to have someone that would like, even if they're terrible at it, it doesn't matter. It's just fun. You know, I like ceramics or at least like the, the what is it called? Putty? No. Dough? No. I can't think of it. Wow, I'm like blowing my mind. It's like something that you mold and then you put it in the oven and you bake it and it becomes like a hard piece of ceramic. I don't know. Why can I not think of it? Oh my God. You could go to like Michael's and get it. Comes in all different colors. Dough? Play-Doh? Silly putty. My brain is not working. You know what I think would be really cool? Would be blown glass. I don't know how in the world I would ever do that, but I think that would be really cool to do a blown glass class. My cousin started taking ceramics and I think someone gave him like a like a, they bought him a couple classes and he really liked it. And now he's going and you always see on his Instagram stories, the ceramics that he's making. And that's really cool to me. I don't know if they have things like that around me. Hmm. 
I thought about doing a giveaway when I reached 30 videos, but that's gonna be in a couple days and I don't have anything to give away or know what I wanna give away. So I'm thinking maybe when I get to 90 videos, I'll do a giveaway. That would, that's like a pretty good number, right? Or a hundred. I don't know. All right, um, let's see, what do I wanna do? Okay, I'm just gonna park here and then we're gonna go up to my storage unit. Okay, trying to figure out what floor I'm on. Okay, I think three. Look, I'm a real vlogger now. This is not creepy at all. Okay. I think this might be me. Okay, so this is my storage unit. Where are all my clothes? <laughs> Probably in the back. Oh, oh my God. Is there anything else that I want from in here while I have it open? This was a thing we were supposed to hang on the wall, but that never happened. Okay, hang on while I take some boxes out.
like dying of the heat in here. I can't believe all this clothes that's just now on the ground. I thought I didn't need it, but oh my God. lock up okay so I did not find my suit but I got a whole bunch of winter clothes which is good because I don't know why it never occurred to me that I shouldn't pack all of my winter clothes so that means the suit jacket has to be in my house somewhere I'll probably just look again tomorrow. Uh, sorry. I'll look again tomorrow and if I cannot find it, then I have no, no choice but to buy another suit. It is what it is. I'm not a very organized person. People think I am, but I don't really think I am. And it's nice out right now. Okay. All right. So that was a fail but at least I got my other clothes out of it. Mm. Let me know if you think that like, even though this was nothing exciting, if this was at least better to watch than me just in my room or car vlogs, just so I know, because I was talking to someone earlier today and they said, I need to go you know, meet people, do something. And that would probably get me in better spirits. So I'm just hooking you back up to my mount, which I cannot do. Okay, here I go. The, the uh, if you were here with me right now, this is what it would be like just going and spending time with me. Something to think about. Okay, do 
Do I have everything? Do I have the passcode to get back in? Yes. Do I know how to get home? No. to myself. See, that's one of the things that makes it harder to live here, is that now I'm home alone tonight, or I don't know. Ew, I should not touch my face. What am I thinking? Purell. I, didn't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not making sense right now. I was trying to say earlier that the only thing I ate today was an ice cream bar. And it's 6.13 now. So I have to eat something. But I just feel anxious about this week. Thanks for coming along with me on this little trip to the storage unit. Sleeping on different sides, problems we can't ignore. So I finished editing my video. This one didn't take me that long. At least it doesn't feel like that. And I wanted to work more tonight, but I'm so tired. I don't want to get sick either. If I just keep pushing myself, I could get sick. And I have two meetings tomorrow. I'm afraid I'm not going to wake up early. I hate that. I just don't get out of bed. It's like crazy. I mean, I used to go to the gym two to three times a week and be there at eight o'clock in the morning with my trainer. And I just can't do that anymore. I think it's because I don't have enough steam, enough fuel in my body. So, I don't know. Is this like pillow talk? Like, are we having a moment here? <laughs> I don't know. This video is taking forever to export. It was almost done the first time and then it said my computer ran out of memory. So I had to force quit it, reset my computer, and now I'm exporting it again. And I just want to go to bed. So. I might, I don't know, I may set an alarm for like a half hour and then check on it. But I'm going to end the video here for now. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video tomorrow.